an interstellar object whirling through our solar system is actually a nuclear-powered spacecraft sent by aliens to test how humans respond. It's generating its own light. That was the conclusion from the Sphere X Observatory when they looked at Atlas 3i. This isn't some small rock, it's a 28-mile-wide object from interstellar space that is currently cruising through our cosmic backyard. At first, it was labeled a comet, but the latest data shows zero water and no dust cloud, just a strange symmetric halo of carbon dioxide. An object this massive, behaving this strangely, has no precedent. And there's a good reason for that. It's something else entirely, something that challenges our place in the universe and forces us to confront some uncomfortable possibilities. Bigger than we ever imagined. There are objects that fly through our solar system, and then there is Atlas 3i. This is not just another rock from the cosmic wilderness. It's a jaw-dropping, mind-bending behemoth that has torn up the astronomy rulebook and thrown it into a black hole. Let's talk numbers for a second because the scale here is almost impossible to grasp. Initial estimates were already impressive, but the latest data from the Sphere X Space Observatory puts Atlas 3i at a diameter of up to 28 miles. That's not a typo. 28 miles. To put that in perspective, this object is wider than the island of Manhattan is long. It's larger than the asteroid that wiped out the dinosaurs. If it were a solid body, its mass would be a million times greater than the last interstellar visitor, Borisov, and millions upon millions of times larger than the infamous Oumuamua. The thing nobody tells you is that finding an object this enormous this early in our search for interstellar visitors is statistically absurd. It's like going fishing for the first time and catching a blue whale. Astronomers initially did what they always do. They tried to put it in a box. Based on its gassy halo, they called it a comet. It's a simple, comforting label. Comets are dirty snowballs, chunks of ice and rock that heat up as they approach the sun, releasing a trail of gas and dust. We understand comets, but Atlas 3i is not playing by those rules. The first red flag came when scientists analyzed what it was outgassing. They detected a steady stream of carbon dioxide, about 70 kilograms per second. Okay, some comets have CO2, but here's the kicker, that's all they found. No water, not a drop. The Sphere X Observatory placed an incredibly low upper limit on water loss, effectively confirming its absence. This is unheard of. Water is the defining ingredient of a comet. An object outgassing only pure CO2 is like a cloud that rains only sand. It simply doesn't fit our models of how these bodies form, but not all things are what they seem. The plot thickened when they looked for another chemical companion. You see, where there's carbon dioxide ice in a comet, there is almost always frozen carbon monoxide. They sublimate or turn to gas at very similar temperatures, so you expect to see them together. Yet when they pointed their instruments at Atlas III, they found nothing. Zero carbon monoxide. This discovery sent shockwaves through the astronomical community. We have never in the entire history of observing comets seen one that vents CO2 without a trace of CO. It's a chemical impossibility based on everything we know. It suggests this object didn't form in the cold outer reaches of a star system like our comets did. It formed somewhere else, somewhere different. It's a puzzle piece from a box we've never seen before, and it's forcing us to wonder what else is out there that we've gotten so completely wrong. The mystery wasn't just its size or its breadth, but also its appearance. Hubble images showed very little dust, and Sphere X saw it as a point source, which raised an even more startling possibility. This object might not just be big, it might be glowing. It's not a comet, so what is it? When you look at a comet, you're not usually seeing the nucleus, the solid body itself. 
You're seeing the massive cloud of dust and gas around it, called a coma, which brilliantly reflects sunlight. It's funny when you think about it, uh, the most spectacular part of a comet is just an illusion of light. But Atlas 3i is different. The Sphere X Observatory saw it as a point source a term that implies the light is coming from the object itself, not from a vast reflective dust cloud. This, combined with the lack of significant dust seen by Hubble, paints a truly bizarre picture. There are two possibilities, and both are staggering. The first is that Atlas 3i is a solid naked object 28 miles wide, so enormous that we are seeing the sunlight glinting off its surface from millions of miles away. The second, more radical possibility is that the object is in some way generating its own light. This isn't the only way it's misbehaving. Many people are crazy about its movement. Normally, a comet's tail, made of dust and gas, is pushed away from the sun by the solar wind, always pointing directly away from our star. It acts like a celestial windsock. Yet some early observations of Atlas III described a halo of dust that seemed to be advancing in front of the object. This is aerodynamically backward. It's like driving a speedboat and having the wake appear in front of your bow. It defies the fundamental physics of how objects interact with the solar wind. This odd behavior, coupled with the lack of a traditional coma, has led some to question if what we are seeing is outgassing at all. Perhaps the cloud of CO2 isn't a natural process of sublimation, but something else entirely, a byproduct of an unknown process happening on or inside this colossal visitor. And then there's its path. The thing nobody tells you about interstellar objects is that they should come at us from completely random directions, like cosmic spitballs fired from every corner of the galaxy. But Atlas III's trajectory is suspiciously orderly. It entered our solar system on a path that is almost perfectly aligned with the orbital plane of our own planets, the flat disk where Earth, Mars, and Jupiter all circle the sun. The odds of this happening by pure chance are about 1 in 500. A coincidence? Maybe. But when you start stacking up the coincidences, the impossible size, the waterless composition, the missing carbon monoxide, the strange halo, and now the perfect alignment, it gets harder and harder to ignore. And there's a good reason for that. When nature repeatedly breaks its own rules, it's often a sign that we're not looking at nature at all. Each new piece of data pushes Atlas 3i further from the realm of the natural and closer to something far, far stranger. Its origin point in the sky only makes the coincidence harder to swallow. Too many coincidences. Every great mystery has a starting point a place of origin that holds clues to its identity. For Atlas 3i, that point lies in the direction of the constellation Sagittarius. For most people, this is just another patch of stars in the night sky. But for those who hunt for signals from the cosmos, that name carries an almost mythical weight. You see, it was from this very same region of space that in 1977, the Big Ear Radio Telescope in Ohio detected a powerful 72-second long radio burst. It was so perfect, so unlike any natural signal, that astronomer Jerry Eamon circled it on the printout and wrote a single word. Wow! The wow signal has since become the holy grail for SETI, the search for extraterrestrial intelligence a tantalizing, unrepeated whisper from the void that could have been a message. Now, decades later, a colossal object with a laundry list of unnatural characteristics emerges from that exact same direction. The thing nobody tells you is that while the WOW signal itself was likely a one-off natural event, the sheer cosmic coincidence is staggering. Of all the infinite points in the sky that Atlas 3i could have come from, it just happens to originate from the celestial neighborhood of the most famous potential alien signal in history.
It's like finding a mysterious, unreadable letter on your doorstep and then looking up to see a carrier pigeon flying away toward the home of the one person you've always suspected of trying to contact you. Many people are crazy about this connection, and it's easy to see why. It feels less like a coincidence and more like a breadcrumb. This convergence of mysteries has put a spotlight on the official response, which many find lacking. The James Webb Space Telescope, the most powerful instrument ever built, observed Atlas 3i just a few weeks ago on August 6, 2025. Yet as of this recording, the data from that observation has not been released to the public. There's been a deafening silence. Furthermore, there are spacecraft like the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter and Juno already in the solar system, potentially close enough to get a better look or even attempt an intercept. Yet, there has been no public announcement of any plans to redirect these assets. This official quiet has led to uncomfortable questions. Are they trying to hide something, or are they so baffled by what they're seeing that they don't know what to say? It's funny when you think about it, for decades we've publicly proclaimed our desire to find evidence of life beyond Earth. Now a candidate that ticks all the boxes for profoundly strange is in our house, and the hosts seem to be hiding in the kitchen. This leaves us with one final earth-shattering possibility to consider. A relic of a lost civilization. Let's stop and think for a moment. Let's put all the pieces on the table. We have an object up to 28 miles wide, millions of times more massive than anything like it we've ever seen. It has no water and no carbon monoxide, a chemical signature that doesn't match any known natural comet or asteroid. It may be generating its own light. Its trajectory is a 1 in 500 fluke, and it appears to be coming from the same direction as the legendary Wow signal. When you add it all up, the theory that this is just a weird comet starts to feel less like science and more like denial. So, What's the alternative? The alternative is the unthinkable. It's the idea that Atlas 3i is not a natural object, that it is, in some form, artificial. This isn't just wild speculation, it's a hypothesis that, in a strange way, fits the evidence better than any other. It's what's known as the asteroid ship theory. The idea is that you wouldn't build a starship out of metal plates and flashing lights. For a journey across the interstellar void that could take millions of years, you'd want something that could protect you from radiation and cosmic impacts. What's better for that than a massive chunk of rock? An object 28 miles in diameter would provide all the shielding you'd ever need. You could hollow it out, build a world inside, and let the rock do the hard work of protecting you. The thing is, this would explain so much. The carbon dioxide? It could be exhaust or venting from an internal life support system. The lack of water? Maybe they recycle every last drop. The light? Power generation? The perfect trajectory? It wasn't an accident. It was aimed. Now we have to step back and be fair. Could this all just be a series of incredible, mind-boggling coincidences? Could Atlas 3i simply be a new, bizarre type of natural object that our science has never encountered before? Absolutely. In fact, that remains the most likely, officially accepted explanation. Scientists are trained to exhaust every natural possibility before jumping to wild conclusions, and there's a good reason for that. But there comes a point where the pile of coincidences gets so high that it starts to look like something else entirely. One anomaly is a curiosity. Two is a pattern. But what do you call this? A 28-mile-wide monster with no water, no companion gas, a trajectory that's a statistical miracle, and an origin point that just happens to overlap with the most famous potential alien signal in history. The thing is, this is where the mystery leaves the high-tech observatories and lands right in our laps. 
It forces us to ask the big questions. Are we missing a key detail that would make all of this suddenly click into place? Or is it really possible that something this monumental could just appear in our solar system, breaking half a dozen rules of physics, and the best explanation is, well, that's weird. This is the moment that makes us wonder if our entire understanding of the universe has been too small, too limited. Is it a natural wonder or a relic from a civilization long gone? Let us know in the comments, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more Cosmic Mysteries.